Hey, so today I'm going to show you how to create a bouquet on frame. To start, I need 12 stub wires and some floral tape. I'm going to cover all them all together, about one third. And when you did this, you're just going to bend them to 90 degrees. When you did this, you put them by group of two, just like this. And then you're just going to bend them to create like flowers. And when they cross each other, you're just going to twist them twice. Always twist twice to make sure that it's safe and it doesn't move. Maybe the first order will take a little bit of time for you, but if you practice, it's going very, very easy and fast. You made the first round of the twist, so you need to bend still the wires like this and twist them to each other to make sure that your flowers doesn't move. And we twist again and your order is done. That's the first step. Now we are going to make the decoration to put on wires to create the final frame for the bouquet. For this, I need wooden band, just like this, some bind wire. And we are going to make like a water drop shape. So for this bouquet, you need around 40, 45 pieces of this. If you really want to bend them more, you can put directly in water for 15 minutes and it's, they are more flexible to work with. And now we are going to create the shape of the frame. With the staple machine, you are going to connect them to each other, just like this. This is a result of one part of the frame. So you need to make three like this that you will put on each other to make it stronger and with more impact. You put your first frame on the table. I create already two more, like this. You are going to tie them at some point with some bind wire. And this frame you will put on your holder and tie also with the bind wire. And your frame will be ready. You put your decoration on your holder. You are going to tie with the bind wire the same way like you did for the decoration. Here we are. That's the first step. Now I'm going to put some dry ruscus, the lysantus, and some clematis. I put some ruscus a bit everywhere on the twist. And I'm going to put the lysiantus. For this bouquet, I choose really soft pink colors. I think it was a good combination with the wood and natural aspect of the bouquet. It's the time for the clematis. When you have done this, you can tie the bouquet, cut the stems, and your bouquet is ready. 